What's up guys, Blunt Guts here. This is a Watch Our Realms video. Today, I'm gonna do some Guild Wars and I'm gonna do it in my pajamas. That's right. So what we're gonna do here is, uh, I, I tried to kind of change the format that I've done in the past. The other Guild Wars videos that I have put together, I have kind of put them in as just a continuous video, my entire process, they were kind of lengthy. Uh, this hopefully is gonna cut down on the length. It's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video, but what I have done is I, I haven't recorded the time that I've spent going through and trying to like watch the, the previous battles against the defenses and things like that. So I think this is gonna be a little bit more digestible and I am able to give you a little bit more info on kind of the strategy that I am trying to employ. Um, I did, in full disclosure, I, I watched a lot of the previous battles and I did steal some of the uh, strategies from my guildmates. Uh, I did try to give credit where credit was due. In all these cases, if I did miss somebody, I am so sorry. Uh, I've got some really fantastic guildmates who do a really good job in this. There's a lot of effort that goes into it. So um, I am the beneficiary of that. And it actually did go uh, better for me today than it has in the past. Previously, in my previous videos, I was in a lower ranked clan and uh, a guild, excuse me. And so it was, it was easier. It was quite a bit easier. Um, I, I'm now much higher up in the rankings and it is a little bit more challenging. So, um, it's been, a, it's been a cool challenge. I do really love this game mode. And I, I feel like now that I'm at these higher levels and I've got a, a kind of a more fleshed out roster of, of demon soldiers, it has been a lot more fun. And I, I really am getting into this game mode. So I am excited about it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please do like and subscribe. If you do enjoy the content, let's get into it. All right, guys, let's see how this works. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself. We're going to count up to 10. We're going to bait some ultimates here. Four seconds on that one, 20 seconds on that one. Seconds. He's done. They're not going through. That's not great. It's not great for your boy. Not looking good, unfortunately. Well. That did not work out like I wanted it to. Okay. Well, Johnny boy just bent me over, so that's no good. See if we can do better on the next All right, one. let's give this another go. Change my strategy a little bit. Let's see if we can't crack this defense. Gonna keep an eye on the ultimate timers here. 23 seconds. He's done. Okay.
Just need one to get through. There we go, baby. There we go. Good. 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 Well, a little redemption. I will take that. I would have preferred the two wins, but you know, whatever. Let's uh, we'll just move on to the next one. We'll forget that that even happens. <laughs> I like that. Uh, credit goes to Abby Morgan in my guild who who put that strategy together. I should have followed it more closely when I first started it, but uh, yeah, worked worked quite well. I, I like that. All right, guys, we're gonna give this one a go. Uh, mainly, we're just trying to, to bait some some ultimates, and then hopefully we can fly over S Silas uh, after he uses his ultimate get through in the downtime so uh that is the plan let's see how it goes so send some suicides first just to bait some ultimates really just bait silas's ultimate that's really the only one that we care about there we go there he popped it We'll put this on one time speed. 11 seconds left. Nine seconds left. Seven seconds left. I think we go at, let's say, three. Let's do it. Push through. Yeah, we got this. We good. We good. All right. I like that one. That was fun. You can only attack that one once, unfortunately. But let's see. Let's see how the next one goes. All right, guys. Another one here. So the plan here is we're going to throw in uh, the magic resist tanks. This uh, guy that looks like Jankar. I don't know what the actual name is. Let's see. What is he called? Uh, he is the Pharaoh Guard, uh, Imperial Pharaoh Guard, and didn't want to, you know, no slight meant Pharaoh Guard guy. Uh, so the plan is we're going to drop in these Pharaoh Guards. Hopefully they're not going to be able to be killed because this is primarily magic damage if you look at the team. So we've got Boreas on the bottom. Obviously he's magic damage. Hex is a magic damage dealing marksman, so he's going to have trouble with that. Arrogance actually isn't going to be able to reach the enemies in front of, uh, of Rokir, so... There's not going to be any issues with them getting getting killed. So uh, the plan is we're going to occupy them with the Pharaoh Guards, and then we're going to send in the uh, the dogs to go and probably kill Arrogance. And just even if they have kill Arrogance, he's not going to be able to block them, so they're going to go through him anyway. So uh, let's uh, let's see how it goes. I, I watched a couple of uh, fights on this. My my guildmates, I pulled this strategy from them, so hopefully it works. I want to give credit where credit is due. So the guy who did who beat this where's the battle record there we go so this is Victoro's strategy so i uh, want to give credit to him uh it seemed to work really well for him so i'm hoping that i get the same results so let's see how it goes uh, one thing i will mention too is that this round i have been going through and i've been manually affiliating all of my heroes so that seems to have made a difference so far i'm, I'm hoping the trend continues so let's see how it goes Get up to 10 first, and then we will drop two Pharaoh Guards at the same time. One, two. And what we're really waiting for, I think more than anything, is just for Boreas's ultimate to, to finish. He hasn't started it yet, but it's about to. And we'll use the Necromancers to kind of help overwhelm them as well. So we're going to wait until we can drop two of those. And then once they're all occupied, we will drop in the... Let's see, is Boris's alt done? Almost done, not quite done. All right, here we go. I think we're close enough. We should be okay. And then we're just going to get up to 10, and we're going to drop double dogs on him, and we will see uh, how that goes. But uh, it's looking good so far. They're not dead yet, so that's that's obviously a good thing. Dog, dog. Oh, and I don't think we even needed the dogs. Nah, we, we good.
Good job, with Thoreau. Nice strategy. I appreciate that. Get me some wins. And uh, you know what? We're going to do it again, because why not? So let's watch it again. Uh, we'll see if there's any RNG that kind of impacts it, but that was a pretty clear victory, so I don't really anticipate anything else changing on that. Let's see how it goes. Get up to 10 again. All right, double pharaohs. And these these tanks against magic dealers are just absolutely ridiculous. You can see, like, they're, they're taking no damage whatsoever. I don't know how much total HP they have, but it is uh, it is insane. Like, uh, they're not taking more than 15k damage at a time, which I, I have to imagine that top damage for these these heroes is got to be, you know, hundreds of thousands. So uh, Magic Resist is kind of overpowered in this in this one. But, uh, you know, that is, that is why you want to make sure that you have a combo of physical and damage uh, dealing heroes when you are setting up your defense. It's really important, so um, keep that in mind. I don't think we even really need the dogs here, but here they go. We're just going to ensure a victory there, and there we go. Another one in the books. Let's go! Alright guys, we're going to give this one a go. So, the plan here, so this team does have physical and magic damage that they're going to be putting out. Silas and Comet there. Uh, the plan is going to be to, we're going to put out these these four cost uh, tanky defenders. First, we're going to bait Silas's ultimate. He's going to demolish them. There's no question about that. As soon as the ult is up, we're going to drop in uh, double pharaohs and then probably drop in some necromancers. And then once everybody's occupied with that, we will be putting out the uh, the dogs to try to shoot by them and hopefully overwhelm them. So that's the plan. Let's see if it works. All right, we can get up to full cost. Let's drop these bad boys in. Should have waited for Silas to get his ultimate up, but it's about to come up. We really want to pop both of these, but as soon as Silas is done, or close to done, we can drop in the Pharaohs, because he's the only one that's going to threaten them. I think we're good here. Oh, oh yeah, we're good. Okay, let's get them in there. Why are they going so slow? Dropping some necromancers. I think the trick here really is going to be: can we get enough out in time? So we've got we've got what we wanted out, and look, the necro is actually going past here, so that's actually a really good sign. Let's drop in some dogs now and see if we can't run past. We can. We got one past. Up oh, two past. All right, we're good. GG. That worked out well. I love that this game mode has pretty much just kind of turned into you know, trying to figuring out stall tactics, working around ultimates, and then and then trying to overwhelm. I mean, it, it's. Uh, I feel like it's a little cheap. You'd like to be able to kill the enemy heroes, but that's not really the point, right? The point is to destroy the soul crystal. So maybe I've been looking at it from the wrong perspective, but uh, yeah. Anyways, let's uh, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys. So this is a very similar team to the last one that that we faced. So the big difference here is that uh, well, there's two differences really. Instead of Zilla two, we've got Valkyra back there. She is really good in this game mode. Uh, she has magic damage, so that's something to keep in mind. She does drop magic resist too, so that is something else to keep in mind. So I don't know. We're we'll see if the pharaohs are going to be still as effective as they were before. Uh, but the other big difference is that we've got Boreas instead of Comet, so that is a pretty substantial difference. Um, we're going to do the same thing though. We're going to try to bait out those ultimates using these tanky rare uh, rare defenders here, and then we're going to follow up with once once they're dead because Silas is going to pop them. As soon as Silas's ult is almost up, we're going to drop in Pharaohs, and then we're going to drop in Necromancers, and then we're going to try to overwhelm with the dogs. So uh, let's see how it goes. Nobody else has attacked this defense. I'm not all that hopeful, but, you know, I am, I think, how many attacks do I have left? I have two more attacks. 
So if I can beat him, then, you know, we'll just do both on, on this guy. But I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I feel like there's a reason. I'm, I feel like I'm relatively new to this higher level uh, GVG stuff. So uh, I, I'm not sure that it, there must be a reason why nobody's attacking them. I don't know exactly what it is, but we'll see. I'm five and one so far. So hopefully, hopefully that trend continues. Um, but uh, this is uh, this is a pretty pretty scary looking team here. High BP and uh, and some meta heroes, especially for this game mode. So we will see how it goes. Let's drop in our defenders here. I again should have waited for the ultimates to be capped out, but looks like Silas is going to go now. Boreas hopefully is going to go before that they die. He is. Okay, good. There's his ultimate. Would have been better if I could have timed them together, in truth. But we also don't really need to worry about Boreas's damage with the Pharaohs because they're going to be able to take most of what he uh, he puts out. So uh, let's let's see what we can do here. Up in the Necros, how is Boreas's ultimate looking? He is. He is cooked on the ultimate. One more Necro. That's not good. They are dying. Uh, let's see. Let's try some dogs. See if we can't overwhelm. But we can't because there's not enough out there. Wow. Yeah, this is... I'm just... I just got popped. This is not... This is not good. Not good, guys. <laughs> let's see. Is his ultimate going? He's got five seconds left on his. Silas is about to get his so uh i guess we can try one more one more surge here and see if we can't get the job done but i am not super hopeful so we're going to do that we're going to get up to eight and we're going to drop double dogs and we're going to hope and pray any through no none through okay well this is why people didn't attack this defense uh, i feel like boreas is just kind of a nightmare in here and uh, i i did kind of miss time the ultimates at the at the beginning so you know, lesson learned. Uh, I, I guess I gotta, I gotta be a little bit more intentional about when I do my my initial drop. But you know, I'm really looking forward to having a game mode where you can test these. But I thought it was coming out with this patch. I guess it's not. Uh, it is on Forerunner right now, as far as I know. Um, so maybe I can go play around with it there. But I do not have anywhere near the uh, assortment of of demon soldiers that I have on my main account as I do on my Forerunner account. So I, I don't know that I'm gonna really be able to glean all that much. But some practice in this game mode would be really appreciated because I feel like it, you know, everything is compressed into these these eight battles that you get twice a week, so sixteen total every week. Uh, it would be nice to have some trial and error and uh, to really be able to refine your strats. But it is what it is. We'll be back with the next one. All right, guys, we are going to give this one a go. This is uh, one of the central keeps. So the plan here, and this is, I just want to give credit where credit is due. So uh, this strategy. I am essentially copying, whoops, got to go back to the battle record. Where are you? There we go. I am copying uh, my guildmate American Maid here. Uh, Sporadicles, I think, is actually using the exact same comp, or use the exact same comp, I should say, as the one that I'm going to be using here. But I uh, I want to give credit to American Maid because he is the first one to do it. Um, so what I am going to be doing here, let's, let's take a look. So uh, we're going to drop in a pharaoh to... Kind of occupy Regulus and uh, and more importantly Alistair, and then we are going to drop in our uh, our lightning guys, uh, you know, lightning guards. I think is what they're called. What are they called? Lightning guards. Yeah. Okay. I got it. You got it. I know what I'm talking about. What are you guys talking about? Uh, so the plan is let's go back to the map so I can show you what I'm talking about. We are going to drop in the Pharaoh guard. He's going to occupy Alistair and Regulus, and then we're going to drop in the uh, Lightning Guards. They're going to go around. Hopefully, they are going to clear out the back end once they get around. Uh, that is what happened when I was watching the uh, the replays. So uh, I'm hoping it's going to work out the same way. But, um, you know, it doesn't always. So <laughs> uh, I think I am 5-2 and two right now. I'd love to get to 6-2. and two. That would be awesome. But uh, I do want to keep kind of pushing myself and challenging myself and trying different different types of defenses to attack. So uh, let's see how it goes. We can get up to 10 and then we will drop in the Pharaoh Guard. Let's start taking some true damage. That is kind of the bad thing about, uh, you know, Alistair and Praetis are gonna be doing true damage to 
these guys, but uh, come on. Oh, no, I just fucked it. I just fucked it, I think. Yeah, ah, shit. I was too slow. This is what happens when I am attacking on my PC. Let's see if they make it through. If they both make it through, then they should be okay, but uh, I am a little bit worried. No, we might be good. We may be good. Let's see. Valkyra down? Yep. Okay. Now we're talking. I'm going to drop another one of these bad boys. Kratos is down. And now it's just about overwhelming. So we will drop a Necro to help out with that. I think we've got time to drop one more Necro. And then we will go in with dogs as soon as, as we can. Dogs are going to run through. Skeletons are going to run through anyway. So it doesn't matter. Oh, we took out Regulus. So yeah, hey. I'll take it. Six and two, baby. That's the best that I have done at this level. Uh, previously, in my previous Guild Wars videos, I was taking on kind of lesser opponents, if I'm being honest with you. The guild that I was in within my cluster was not as highly rated. Um, you know, it's just different. No, no slight. It's just people at different levels of progression in the game. But now we are at... Let me see if I can show you the rankings here. Uh, see, we are, we are kind of like right on the edge of Overlord. Uh, if you look at the ranking of the sub, we are number 49. The cutoff for Overlord is uh, the top 32. So we were in there. We had a, a rough couple of weeks. So uh, we dropped down a bit. We're still hoping that we can we can have some strong finishes and still get back up to uh, into Overlord for the season. Uh, but, you know, hey, things are going well this week. Hopefully they continue to go well in our next matchup. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I've been Blunt Guts. Uh, this has been a Watch Under Realms video, and uh, please like and subscribe if you did like the content. I'm going to try to put out more of these Guild War videos. I did seem to have a little bit more interest in the last one, so hopefully this kind of higher level GBG is, is something you guys are interested in. Hopefully you picked up some tips from it. I will catch you all next time.